for a problem like this, the name of the game is factor. When you try to reduce fractions, you have to have common factors. Bad students are those students who will say, oh, I've got x squared here and here. Cross them out, done. But they're not <laughs> factors. To be factors, it has to be completely written using multiplication, and this isn't. How do I factor? Start with that numerator. How does it factor? X plus 4x plus 2. X plus 4, X plus 2. What about this denominator? 2x and x. You know you've got to do 2x and x to break down the 2x squared. How do you break down the 2? It's got to be 1 and 2, but can you put the 2 with the 2x? That's stupid. So we do it like that. These guys are both positive. A few seconds and you get these guys factored. Move on to the other guy. Is there a common factor in this numerator? No. no. It's a trinomial, so I know what to expect from this. How do you break down the 2x squared? Don't really have a choice. 2 is prime. What do you know about your signs? Now let's break down the 6. Plus 1 plus 6. Plus 1 plus 6 in this case, right? Okay, and your denominator. Is there a common factor to take out? No. Nope. So what do we do here? Both x's, 1 plus, 1 minus. Here, the negative must be larger. Do I agree with plus 4 and minus 6? Is everything completely factored here? Yes. Then you find those common factors and you reduce them. For example, <coughs> x plus 2 reduces with x plus 2 because why? Can't tell each other. Well, because x plus 2 over x plus 2 is 1. This guy equals 1, but you have to understand that this is provided that x does not equal what number? Zero. zero. Nope. If x is zero, I get two over two, which equals one. Who's the bad guy? Oh, negative two. We talked about restricted values before, right? We cannot let x equal a value that would cause the denominator to equal zero. So when I cancel this, this is with the understanding that, okay, great, I'm canceling it. It's a factor of one. But I'm doing this with the understanding that I'm never going to talk about x being equal to negative 2. What are the other things that I get to simplify away? Common factor of x plus 4 here, and here, and then what? 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. So what is my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. I'm left with x plus 6 over x minus 6. Can that reduce any further? These guys are not common factors. They don't have anything that will reduce away, so we're here. And that's it. Am I solving anything? No. No. All you had to do was reduce. Your job was to reduce, and that's it. What if I ask you to do this? Two over x squared plus two x minus thirty-five plus seven over x squared minus twenty-five. It's not the same thing. This is addition now. So what must we have in order to add these guys? So, so factor, right, I must factor the denominator so I can see what the factors are, and so I know how to correct this and have the same denominator. So how does this guy factor? X plus seven x minus five. X plus seven x minus five. What about this guy? 
You know I love the difference of squares. But now it's a matter of putting in what was missing. What factor was missing on the left part? X plus five. He's missing the factor of x plus 5. So we'll put that in the numerator and denominator. What is this guy missing? He's missing the factor of x plus 7. Do I have to put that in the numerator? Yeah. Yes, because I'm adjusting this fraction. I'm trying to get an equivalent expression. So what factor I put in the denominator, I must put in the numerator mm -hmm. as well. Now, when we did these before, it's one huge fraction. And you've got your factors down here. Does the order of the factors matter? It doesn't because it's multiplication. You just have to multiply those numerators and tell me what we have. <coughs> when you distribute correctly, it's 2x plus 10, and then what? Seven 7x plus 49. So what am I left with here? Nine x plus fifty nine all over x plus seven x minus five x plus five. Now in the numerator, you would like to see, you know, look and see does this guy factor? Is there any more simplification that can be done? But in this problem, this numerator is prime. Fifty nine is prime. Has nothing in common with the nine. And so this guy will be our final answer.